Welcome to the 30 minute acrylic portrait where we paint an alla prima acrylic portrait real time in about a half an hour. I'm excited you're here and today we're going to be working on a little bit of a different portrait today. Uh, this is a side profile of my friend Phil. Now Phil is a intellectual guy that I love having wonderful conversations with about art and spirituality and different things and uh, he overcame uh, alcoholism and I'm just very proud of what he accomplished in his life and this image of him kind of depicts this idea of him standing strong and yet finding strength in God and so I want to portray this image of my friend Phil uh, for the 30-minute acrylic portrait. Um, I'd like to give you though a free gift just for being here just to say thank you so much for watching this video um, so if you would like this free gift, it, what it is, it's actually a downloadable PDF guide uh, that you can print off to help you with skin tones. If you're struggling in painting skin tones realistically, my free guide will help. It's called Fix Muddy Skin Tones in Your Acrylic Portrait. And you can find that in the description of this video. I have a link for you, uh, realisticacrylic.com forward slash fix dash muddy dash acrylic dash skin tones and so if you go to the link in the video you'll find that uh, also in the top comment here as well I have a link for you and you can download that free guide uh, to help you to paint skin tones more realistically in your acrylic portrait okay let's uh, begin this portrait here uh, before I do I'm just gonna ask a word of blessing a word of prayer just inviting God to help me to be able to paint this portrait to my very best ability and to help you as well be able to paint a portrait you can be proud of. So Father, I come before you in Jesus' name, and I ask that you would help me to be able to do this uh, portrait well of my friend Phil. I pray, Lord, that you would bless um, this class, the students watching. I pray that they would uh, learn some new skills, new techniques for mixing colors and shading and getting proportions accurately, all those different things that will help them in their portrait painting. So keep them in good health, uh, just to increase their creativity and their productivity. And I ask this blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so we're going to set a timer here. Now, I, I actually have a timer so that you know uh, that I'm doing this in real time. It also helps me to stay on track. Uh, so let's work on this portrait together and just see what we can accomplish in 30 minutes. All right, let's zoom in here. And then I'm going to set the timer and we'll begin. Set that for 30 minutes. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just start off blocking in the composition. Now I have this 8x10 canvas ready to go with a gray background. I'm going to take some uh, raw umber dark and a little bit of ivory black and some ultramarine blue. And I'm just going to mix those together here with just a bit of titanium white and we'll actually need a little more a little more black for this it's got to get a little bit darker to be able to see uh, what's going on here just gonna spray my palette really quick okay so we want to block in the composition so ideally the color will be just a little bit darker than what we've got here so that I can see it, but if I need to change anything, I can. All right, we're gonna get this to basically fill everything pretty well. No pun intended, Phil. <laughs> and uh, let's just kind of block things as quickly as we can. I wanna get his head kind of close to the top And I'm just going to need to turn that light off because there's too much glare. So, um, all right. Continue on here and just get in the major value distinctions. All right, we got, and I'm going to put his chin down here. And we got his clothing right there 
opening for his shirt, block that in, left side of the hair, and then we've got, uh, let's see, this part of his hair, and we'll put that in, okay. So now, make sure we've got his nose and everything properly reiterated blocking the contours of the outside of his hair now. And then a little bit of his glasses, we'll block that in. Just gonna switch the colors, make it a little more brownish here. And we just want to get an overall sense of where things are going to go. All right, now the next step will be to block in just the major uh, dark tonal values. So I'm going to take some raw umber dark, a little bit of titanium white, ultramarine blue, some ivory black. And let's just block in um, a color that would represent his hair. Make it a little bit darker. Add a little bit of fresh matte medium on the palette. All right, we're just gonna fill this in. Just setting up that major um, visual weight of where his hair is going to be at. And I'm using kind of short choppy brush strokes. I want to leave a little bit of a lighter area here for the highlights because we know the light is on the right hand side and as it's aiming down he's looking right up into the light. Uh, we want to portray that element in this portrait as best as we can. Block in some of the shapes here for his clothing. And this is a fun thing you can do, even though it's not a substitute for a you know full-fledged painting, it's just a nice exercise to help you to grow in your skills and being able to quickly make decisions. And I, I want to grow in these skills as well. That's why I'm going on this journey with you. Uh, you'll be able to make some quicker decisions in your painting and get more efficient with each brush stroke. And so when you're doing your full-fledged uh, portraits where you're taking more time to really dial in the detail and the realism, this will help you in that process. Okay, so now we're going to block in this shape here, which represents the shadow on his beard. All right, and now I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. And he's got pretty prominent eyebrows, so I want to begin to block those in. We're gonna mix some raw umber dark with this titanium white and that other color we had that had a little bit of ultramarine blue. And we're just gonna block this in right here for his eyebrows, which are kind of up fairly close to the top of his head. And now let's block in some of the mid-tones. Actually, be the shadow for the um, be the shadow for the facial skin tones. We're going to take some burnt sienna for that. Actually, no, my burnt sienna is dried up, so we're going to use a little bit of raw sienna and a little bit of titanium white for this, and then some raw umber dark. Just mix them together. Get a nice, nice dark tone that we can use for that. And we'll just block this in. Eh, it's going to have to get a little bit darker yet. All right, that's good. We'll just put this in right here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I forgot to turn the ringer off on my phone. Oh, the interruptions you'll have when you're painting. Well, we're just going to continue on here. I'll have to get that call later. Sorry about that. All right, so we're blocking in these flesh tones here. Just blocking in these flesh tones. And I think that'll be a good color for what we need. So here it is on my palette. It's just a romber dark, a little bit of raw sienna, pyro orange, just nice warm color. And we're just blocking that in there. And now we're gonna just kind of scumble this in, get this down by his neck. And we want to make sure we bring this shadow up close enough. There's a little bit of that going into the temple. And now uh, with this, we'll want to block in the mustache beard shape. So we'll take some titanium white, a little bit of raw sienna, Indian yellow, and raw umber dark. We'll mix those together. A little bit more titanium white, so we want kind of a warmish color we can use for this. And that can go, yeah, it's actually a little too light. It needs something we can blend into. So I'm going to just mix a little bit of this blackish color in there. Just to get it a nice kind of dirty gray. With a little bit of warmth. And we're blending into the lighter part of the mix. We'll need to also kind of block in the shape of his mustache a little bit as well, which is projecting out past his nose. Still have yet to dial that shape in. We got to keep that that prominent angle. That's really part of the attitude of this portrait is that that chin that's projecting out, showing his resilience, showing his uh, this is perseverance in the middle of the challenges. And pursuing sobriety and so I want to uh, portray this here okay we'll just darken this a little bit more and by the way um, this, this uh, challenge he had with alcoholism was a battle he fought many, many years ago and won. So um, some of the challenges he's de that he's been facing are, have been more health problem challenges. And he's, uh, he's uh, taken that same road of perseverance and um, finding strength in God to overcome. And so I'm endeavoring to portray this here in the portrait. But I want to uh, want to do him justice by just mentioning that his struggle with alcohol was was many many years ago when he was younger. Okay, so we're just adding some shading there. Now I do need to get some skin tones in uh, for the highlights. So we're going to take some titanium white and some Indian yellow, a bit of raw sienna, and then pyro orange. And uh, burnt sienna is also a good color to use. My burnt sienna appears to be dried up at the moment. So I'm just going to use some pyro orange and raw umber dark just to add a little bit of earthiness to it. Add a little more Indian yellow, titanium white. And we'll just begin to block this in right here. Get some of these highlights. We get these warm tones going. Uh, on his forehead. Okay, we'll block in the shape for his nose. And then we have this interesting shape here of his glasses emitting some light onto his cheek and we want to build up that form. Oh, 
I'll add some raw umber dark and a bit of pyro orange to this and get some of these warmer tones, a little bit of Indian yellow and we'll just blend that out. All right, just gonna continue to block this in. Get that hairline on the top the way it should be. And then we'll block in a little bit of color here for his uh, chest area as well. All right, I'm gonna switch brushes here. And we'll switch to a, let's see, a smaller flat and we're gonna block in some of the uh, colors for his eyeglasses. So use a little bit of Indian yellow and some more titanium white. I'll just block this in right up here. There we go, some brush strokes going a little bit horizontally. All right, now let's work on some of these other skin tones. There's some titanium white and Indian yellow again. And we'll just block this in on the outside edge of his nose. Add a little bit more of a highlight to the top of his forehead. This highlight, we strengthen that. Now let's take our round brush and a little bit of raw umber dark and Indian yellow and pyro orange. I do kind of miss my burnt sienna. But before I prepared this palette, I didn't realize how much my wood stove dried out my paints and how dry this was before I started rolling the video. So let's take this as a challenge to see if I can do this without my, uh, without my burnt sienna. All right, so we need a little more raw umber dark and we'll add that to the darker side of this mix. Now, if I didn't have my raw umber dark, boy, that would be that would be a tough day. Dabble just a little bit of titanium white to make that more opaque, make it cover better. And we just want to get that idea of that shape of the shadow on his face. And we're going to just kind of block in the idea of his eyes really quick. Use a little bit of um, Pyro orange and some Indian yellow and a little bit of titanium white. And we're going to kind of capture the shape below his nose, getting in some of these warmer colors that are um, reflecting off of the other shapes. Fill this in a little bit. All right, and then Want to get a little bit of a transitional tone here on some of the skin tones. These darker areas going into the lighter areas. Transitional tone right there. And a transitional tone down here as well. And now let's uh, put in some highlights for his hair. Go down to this kind of grayish color. Add a little bit of raw sienna to that. And just get some grayish hues. I want to warm it up just a bit. All right, so we have a couple of lighter areas. And I'm just going to blend this into this kind of medium tone here. I don't want that to get too, too light.
got a couple of little areas that are poking out here and I do need to get a little bit of a darker tone in there just kind of scrub that in okay I'm going to get a couple of transitional tones right here on his beard there we go and I think we have just a little bit of flesh tone poking out under that mustache. So let's pull some of this lighter color and just pop that in just to suggest it. Let's get in a darker shape showing the underside of his nostril because that is part of the look as you're seeing that lower area there. And then we'll get a little bit of a darker tint down here yeah I think I'm gonna have uh, let's see a little bit of romber dark get some more pyro orange in here and a bit of Indian yellow. So it's just getting a little bit muddy. I'm going to add a little more Indian yellow to it. And some raw umber dark. And I want to get a little bit of a darker tint uh, on the skin tones. Right up here as we have these two shadowed areas kind of meeting each other. I feel like I need a, a flat brush for this. So we'll use a flat brush. better just want to get that sculpted in a little bit better there bring this shadow up a little higher into the forehead and then let's get a little bit uh, of a stronger line on the neck And then let's take a little bit of titanium white and we'll just put in a couple of these flannel details here. Just to suggest some of the flannel that he's wearing. Using this flat brush for that. And the titanium white does have just a little bit of yellow mixed into it as well. Okay, we'll just use kind of a medium gray to fill this in. And just a little bit of ultramarine blue to this. Just fill in some of these stripes here for the flannel. Bring kind of a lighter stripe going across to convey that idea. Lighter stripe going across here. Okay, let's go back to the face for the last uh, seven minutes or so and see how it can be improved. So 
switch to my round brush here. And I'm going to take some titanium white, a little bit of fresh matte medium, and we'll go ahead and add just a little bit of pyro orange. All right, so my pyro orange got a little muddied up by some alizarin crimson. So it's just a bit challenging to get the color mixes that I want. So take this as a learning experience. A little more preparation for my palette would make this process easier, but I'm just gonna work with what I have. And uh, that's also a good lesson too. Okay, we're gonna add some highlights to the forehead using the slightly warmer color. So as you're working on highlights, you really do want to use a more chromatically intense color. And that's why I was using some titanium white and Indian yellow and a little bit of pyro orange because on my palette, those are the one of the warmest colors that I have available. Now we're gonna also need to hit this um, on the edge of the nose. Just really get that highlight going there. Now let's see if we can do a little work on the glasses just to kind of strengthen that look of the frame on the top. And see if we can get the glasses on the other side as well because it's just slightly, slightly visible there. So try to get the curvature here of the frame implied. And then uh, let's put in just a bit of detail for the eyes. I'm going to add a little bit of this kind of titanium white gray mixture just to show a little bit of the, um, the sclera. And then we have a slight, slight bit of detail to show um, the pupil inside. So I just want to touch that slightly. We're going to also strengthen this shape here uh, for the eyebrows, kind of bring that up a little higher into the forehead and add a warmer color around it. And then let's add just a little bit of, uh, if we can grab some pyro orange and Indian yellow and just put a slight, slight bit of that color on the edge of that highlight coming from the glasses frame it's being cast onto his face bring the shadow down a bit and just add a little bit of a nuance here yeah, just a bit of a nuance for uh, this shadow here for his nasal labial fold Just flow in there ever so slightly. Okay, I'm gonna hit his beard with a couple more highlights. Titanium white, a little bit of Indian yellow. Let's see if we can get something a bit brighter here. And it's good to have that warmth. So just a bit of Indian yellow is needed to really give it the warmth that's required. Our Indian yellow and titanium white. A little more Indian yellow here and then just a bit of raw or dark on the perimeter. I'll just add that in. Add a little bit of a highlight right here. And then I want to get that flesh tone on his face just to stand out a little more. So let's put that back in here. 
Uh, we're going to need it to be quite a bit warmer to really stand out against the beard. So uh, titanium white and Indian yellow. And my paints are just really tacky right now. So a little bit difficult to work with. I like them very fluid and, and this makes it much more challenging. Next time I do this, I'll make sure I have some fresh paints on my palette. I've just been working on a lot of different paint painting projects here in the studio. And so I just thought I'd get a little more mileage out of this, uh, this palette, but it wasn't the best idea. It really could be a lot fresher. Nevertheless, I'm going to finish this and just do my very best by God's grace. Okay, so I'm going to add just a bit of a highlight if I can with titanium white and Indian yellow. Just put that on the edge of the glasses here. Put a little bit of a highlight there. We'll try to get the bow uh, for the glasses using a darker color. I'm just going to run that across if we get that to line up. Uh, put in a couple more highlights for his hair, see what we can get done in this amount of time. Okay, and this color should be a little bit darker. Add a bit of a highlight to the top of his hair too. Let this flow in. should have left that little part on his lip alone. I'll just go in there and see if I can touch that up a bit more. And if I can just get that little dimple on his nose, that would be good. It's a slightly darker color right here. Might be able to cut in the other way and put in a highlight on that little bump, that little wing of the nose. Blend this out a little bit on his eyebrow. You can just see the other eyebrow ever so slightly on the other side, so I want to bring that out a little bit. All right, I'm just going to wipe this away quick and uh, all right, we'll call this finished. We'll call this finished. All right, so this is what we were able to achieve here in the 30 minutes. And that's still ticking. We'll just get that to stop. All right, let's zoom in here, take a look. So this is my portrait of my friend, Phil. Um, I, I'm overall, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, you know, like I said, I really, really struggled with my palette. As you can see here, I've got a lot of dried paints and my, my burnt sienna was completely dried up <laughs> and my pyro orange was mixed in with alizarin crimson. So it was a little frustrating to get the warmer hues that I was looking for. Um, but overall, I'm happy with it. It's always good to persevere through challenges. I do like the way, you know, the light uh, hit his face here on this highlight being uh, cast around the edge of the glasses and then that stronger light in the middle. Um, yeah, I like the kind of warm highlight that happened on his nose and uh, just, you know, the overall sense of the form I think is there. But, you know, within 30 minutes you can only do so much. Um, if I were then doing this as a more detailed portrait where I took a lot of time, I could take this uh, study here and use it as kind of a basis of how to mix some of my colors and just having had the practice of working on his face with this study, it would prepare me for doing a more detailed portrait that takes more time. And 
in years past, that's what artists would do. I mean, they would they would literally uh, do studies, preliminary studies on their paintings, and it would prepare them for a full-fledged portrait that took a lot of time. So uh, this is a historic practice, and I would like for you to incorporate this in your portrait painting practice as well. Go ahead, give it a shot. Try a 30-minute acrylic portrait. You can do, you know, one per day or you know, a couple times a week or even once a week if that's how your schedule works out. And you'll find that as you work on them, you'll have fun with it. If you just, you know, let your expectations, I'm going to say let them go, but, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just basically trying to use our artistic skills, um, integrate our right brain with, you know, what we're doing, coordinate it on the canvas, and just get better at portrait painting. Um, you'll be able to see a lot of things as you do this freehand. It's going to develop your skills that you can utilize in your more detailed portraits. So go ahead, give it a shot, take an image of something you like, or you know, even something I have here. If you'd like to use one of my reference images, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can set something like that up in the future. But go ahead, take an image of something you like, paint it uh, within 30 minutes and see what's possible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead to realisticacrylic.com where I have several tips, tutorials, classes, uh, many available for free. Um, like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I look forward to teaching you in the next 30-minute acrylic portrait. God bless. We'll talk to you soon.